all right guys welcome to our channel code with sunny and in this video i will be talking about the problem stone game you can see and its index is 877 and it is categorized as medium type problem with the date code now the very very important thing that is noticing noticeable over here is like you can see the ratio of likes and dislikes it is like uh, i don't expect this one likes is like 1339 and dislikes is like 1538 is less than 50 percent okay so why this problem is like uh, this type like likes is very less you can see here uh, this problem is actually a foolish problem uh, not calling it as foolish if you solve it by a general approach it is good but uh, the very like a uh, tricky point is like uh, answer is always true i will explain it out later on for now we should have to focus on the general approach now before moving further i just want you to hover over the section called similar questions you will find a list of questions stone game 5 stone game 6 and so on now the thing is like i'm not going to discuss all these one as requested by our viewers we should have to discuss all this one uh, actually i'm quite busy so but uh, i have something interesting for you is that if you look out the section stone game 7 so let me click and open it in new tab you will find this question actually i want you guys to solve this problem and if you are stuck upon any of this like if you are stuck upon this uh, problem then you can check it out on my channel like okay so let me uh, so here it will have a section uh, like a stone game 7 as i've already discussed so you guys have to be like very much aware about that you have to to like you can find all those solutions stone game 7 i don't know where it is uh, oh, okay so i'm going to find it out as soon as possible uh, where it is where it is stone game 7 okay so let's search it over here stone game 7 uh, where it is yeah it is stone game 7 you can see a dynamic programming approach both top down and bottom up I've, I've shared so i will request you to look over this one also this, uh, this problem is actually the interesting one so moving on to this problem what has actually been asked in this problem is, problem is like there are two players alex and lee and alex and alex is going to start the game and uh, followed like if, after every move like alex is going to perform the move then lee is going to perform the move and the target of Alex and Lee is like you can notice over this thing the objective of the game is to gather the most number of stones okay and uh, every move is going to be determined that uh, like uh, not saying it as like this one so what will happen is like uh, if Alex is going to perform a move over this array then a move is going to be defined as either he or she is going to pick up the stone uh, from the very beginning or pick up the stone from the very end of the current processed array like current array is like 5345 and Alex is going to perform the move then she or he I don't know is going to pick up the very first stone or he or she is going to pick up the very last stone there are two ways okay suppose it is like Alex has uh, chosen the very first stone then the next left sequence of the stones will be 345 now Lee is going to choose a stone then he is going to choose either the very first stone that is the 3 or the very last stone that is the 5. So there are two possible ways. Okay. Then our uh, like what we have to do in this problem is like we have to check it out if Alex can win the game or not. If Alex is going to win the game we are going to return true and uh, otherwise we are going to return false. Also the thing is like uh, there are even number of files arranged in a row that is the array length is like even and also like uh, total number of stones is odd so it uh, basically signifies that there are no ties okay so you can also understand that easily and uh, also one thing that should be noticeable over here is like uh, both uh, like both Alex and Lee is going to uh, like is uh, demanding that they are going to win this game and Alex and Lee uh, that's why they are going to play the game optimally that uh, if Alex is going to perform the move then he's, he or she is going to choose out the best possible scenario for the current case and you know that this is going to be happened or this problem can be easily solved with the help of dynamic programming concept because there are two possible ways and we have to choose the best one okay so i'm going to describe all those scenarios i'm going to build up all those dp states and also i'm going to explain all the possible cases later on with the help of examples 
for now let's head over to the constraints and understand something useful you can see the files length is 500 so we can have a o of n squared dynamic programming solution and also piles dot length is even so this will give us a o of n time and o of one space solution i will tell that later on and also you can see some of files is short so there is uh, there is always a winner over this game okay so let's move further to understand this problem with the help of examples and then we'll together build up the best solution for this problem so let's move further okay so what i am going to do is like let me explain it in an easier way suppose we have an array like 5 4 3 2 7 okay now if uh, let's say alex and let's say l a denotes the alex and l denotes the lee okay now if alex is going to start the move either he is going to pick up this one or he is going to pick up this one suppose he is going to pick up this one then our next array would be like 4 3 2 7 this is our next array and if uh, now the Lee is going to pick up this one. Okay, so Lee is going to pick up either this one or either this one. So there are two possible ways. Okay, now the thing is like uh, you need to understand that uh, Alex is going to win only and only when. Uh, let me write it down clearly. If Alex is going to win and win only and only when. If total sum of stones chosen by Alex TA is going to be strictly greater than total sum of stones being chosen by Lee that is uh, let's call it as TL TA is going to be greater than TL then it is uh, like uh, Alex is going to win and we are going to return true okay now the point is like why not we maintain the difference of the score at every point like uh, suppose we have an array like this one 5 3 4 2 7 okay now when uh, okay so when alex is going to choose this one the 5 is going to be added to the alex credit okay so uh, 5 uh, like alex score is going to be incremented by 5 at this point okay now the thing is like it is discarded and next sequence of uh, like uh, sequence of stones present over here now lee is going to choose this one so either lee is going to choose this one or either lee is going to choose this one okay now what will happen is like uh, Alex uh, wants that uh, like if Alex is going to start the game and he is playing optimally then his strategy is like choose the maximum over all those possible values okay then what will happen is like uh, Alex can choose 5 or 7 okay now uh, here in this case what I have done is like uh, suppose Alex has chosen 5 so the remaining has 3, 4, 2, 7 okay and uh, let uh, D be the score of Lee over this point over this range L to R. Okay, so what is the current possible Alex score? Like we need to have the like condition that uh, either one of them is going to be winner, and we are going to determine that with the help of difference of the score. Like finally, after the game ends, Alex has some score, let's say X, and Lee has some score, let's say Y. If X minus Y is strictly positive then we can say that Alex is going to win otherwise Lee is going to win and here it is the same case that I am going to do okay now suppose Alex has chosen this 5 and the remaining sequence of stones is for Lee and let's uh, let D be the maximum score that Lee can get with the help of this array starting from L to R then the difference of score is going to be uh, determined by 5 minus T right because Alex has chosen this one right and now what I am going to do is like uh, there are one more case right so why not i will not choose this five and choose this one uh, like alex is going to choose this seven now so this is discarded and this is again a another array sequence of stones where lee is going to uh, choose let d2 be the maximum possible answer from this one then what is the difference of the score difference of the score is like uh, sorry seven minus d2 this is the difference of score uh, current difference of score for the entire array like this one for this sorry for this entire array okay so for this entire array like alex is going to start the game then what i am going to do is like if uh, i will request my viewers to notice this point very much carefully if answer of 0 up to the end minus 1 n minus 1 like if i will get the answer of 0 to n minus 1 
as positive note that answer is going to denote the maximum possible answer and if it is positive and also note that answer of 0 to n minus 1 is the difference of the score difference of the score from 0 to n minus 1 that is if i will pick up the range from l equal to 0 and r equal to n minus 1 and alex is going to start the game then what is the maximum possible difference of the score that is the alex score minus bob score not bob it's lee leaf score we can get and if it is strictly positive it means that alex is going to win because you are finding out the difference of the score right then the thing is like how to get this value okay as i've already said if alex is going to start the game any player is going to start the game either he can choose the beginning or the end from the current array so what i'm going to do is the answer of 0 to n minus 1 is the maximum value note that we are every time finding out the maximum possible difference we can get so maximum value of suppose uh, alex or any player can choose the very first one so i am going to say uh, maximum of files of l it uh, like uh, he or she has chosen the very first one minus uh, the different note that uh, we are finding out the difference of the score right that's why if uh, the current person current player has chosen the current element then the like we need to find out the difference then we need to subtract it out the next possible uh, max like the next maximum possible for the remaining array so like if uh, a player has chosen this one then we have the range as l plus 1 to this r right and we need to find out the difference that's why i have chosen this piles of l as the current uh, like uh, alex has chosen the current element now what is the maximum possible score that we can get from the opponent player with the remaining array so it would be like this one so let me write down piles of l minus you can say let's say i have maintaining a dp whose uh, which will give us the maximum scores from l plus 1 to this r okay so if i am working on the current l to r okay so let me write down on the next page so what i am going to say if dp of lr is the current state of the array and we need to find out the maximum possible difference of score then what i will write is max of if i will choose the very first one so i will write down piles of l and if i am choosing this one then i and uh, also i need to find out the difference of score right so what i will do is what is the maximum possible score that uh, difference of score that we can get from l plus 1 to so this r okay note that this dp of lr is always going to give us the maximum possible score note that what i am going to do is like uh, at every time every player is want every player wants that uh, his or her score should be maximized in other words we need to find out the maximum possible difference for a uh, alex player and uh, just check it out if it is greater than 0 then only and only when alex can win also dp of l like dp of ij is going to denote maximum absolute uh, not absolute maximum difference of score like alex score minus this current uh, minus lee score so if i am choosing for the current player then the next one i need to choose up this state dp of l plus 1 to r now what about i am choosing this end value dp of r minus note that i am finding out the difference that's why i put it the minus sign over here dp of l minus 1 and r okay so the current player can choose the front one or can choose the back one back element so we need to find out the maximum of those two okay and maximum difference actually that's why i've written over this is the entire dp state and let's uh, build up the code for this one so you can see i have a lot of submissions over here i need to optimize the code let's say i'm going to pick up this one and check it out yeah okay so what i've done is like i maintain a dp of maximum size 2d dp and what i've done is like first i've initialized all those fields cells with zero, uh, minus one and starting solving for zero to n minus one keys okay and if it is positive like the difference of score is positive alex minus lee score then i'm going to say yeah return true in this case okay so this is the boolean expression that is going to be evaluated at the end now this is a recursive step with memoization you can see if l is r i need to return the current file of uh, like the number of stones of the current index 
and if we have already traversed a particular state yes we are okay with that otherwise find out the maximum possible difference for the current state which will be max of the current chosen file minus note that we are putting the minus sign over here because uh, we are trying to find out the difference of the score and for the next state uh, it will be like uh, we need to check it out for l plus 1 to r and similarly if i will pick up from the back then i will have to solve for l to r minus 1 okay now the thing is like uh, you need to understand that answer is always true okay now the thing is like uh, n is always even right if you focus upon the zero best indexing 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay now the thing is uh, if uh, alex is going to start or if uh, okay so only alex is going to start so alex can choose this even index element or can choose the odd index element right so what will happen is suppose let's say alex chooses even even index element like this one zero okay so if alex chooses even index element the remaining becomes odd okay now lee always going like the lee is going to choose the odd, odd index element like one or five you can see both are odd so lee has no other option lee is going to choose the five so suppose five is being chosen and zero is already chosen now the thing is like again we have one two four one two three four now so i have what i have done is like alex always chooses the even so it is choosing for next we have one three lee has no options so lee is going to choose three and then alex is going to choose even then lee is going to choose all so the conclusion is alex is always being able to choose the even when alex start choosing the even index element similar to the case alex can always choose the odd indexed elements right and if you look out, uh, look over this one the total number of stones is odd so there are no ties okay so suppose uh, there exists the case like if sum of all odd is going to be like greater than sum of all even right if sum of odd is greater than sum of even then L, uh, the moves are going to be done optimally right so alex will always choose the odd index element and he is going to win and what about the case when sum of odd is less than sum of even again alex has the choice that he is going to choose all even index elements again alex is going to win so the answer is always true right so let me just do one thing okay so return true let me check it out whether it is working or not Yeah, runtime 0 m is faster than 100% of shape of submissions. Yeah, wow. So, if you have any doubts, do let me know in the comment section of the video. And I will ask the viewers to like this video, share this video, and do subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you for watching this video.